Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is why gentleness is important in our harsh world. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from our sponsors. Hey everybody, I'm Dale. And I'm Tamara. And we're hosts of the Kynos Project podcast. Where we help you tackle ancient Christian truths in everyday settings. The word kainos means new, and that's exactly what we want to do on our podcast. Bring something new from what is old in our faith. And on this show, you might hear us explore topics like what the Bible has to say about student loan forgiveness, discuss how the satanic temple affects our view of religious liberty in America, or even question why is it that so many people are having rapture anxiety. To learn more about the podcast, go to lifeaudio.com. The Historical Jesus Podcast is the sweeping saga of the life and times of Galilean Jesus of Nazareth, as well as the faith, religion, and church founded to honor and disseminate his acts and teachings. Join me, Mark Vinette, on this fascinating journey through time, exploring the many great works of Christian theology, literature, architecture, music, and art inspired by the words and deeds of Jesus Christ. Gentleness in a Harsh World Written and read by Whitney Hopler Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Philippians 4, 5, NIV When I volunteered at my children's elementary school, I met a student named Victor, who shared some comic strips he had created with me. In this story, the superheroes are talking, not fighting, he said. They're talking about how to solve their problem instead of beating each other up. I congratulated Victor on the good ideas he portrayed in the comic strips. Ever since I had seen Victor crying because some kids in his class had teased him for his gentleness, I tried to encourage Victor to see his gentleness as a strength rather than as a weakness. He told me that the students who made fun of his gentle nature thought he was weak. However, he added, I'm just trying to be a gentleman, and my parents say that's a good thing. I urged Victor to share his comic strips with his teacher and the whole class. After he did so, more students came to appreciate the value of gentleness. In our fallen world, it's often easier to find harshness than gentleness. People often speak mean words to each other or post harsh messages on social media. Arguments abound and conflicts rage on as people mistreat each other. Battles for power and control are all around us. Violence is in the news regularly. Yet Jesus continues to call us to be gentle in this harsh world. Jesus models gentleness as a sign of strength. In Matthew eleven twenty nine, Jesus encourages us to follow his example, saying, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Matthew 21, 5, NIV describes how Jesus entered Jerusalem as a king in a way that emphasizes gentle strength. See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey. God is gentle with us. He gives us unlimited and unconditional love. He answers our prayers according to what's best for us. He extends grace and mercy to us whenever we ask for it. Since God, who is the source of all strength, treats us with gentleness, we can see how gentleness is truly a sign of strength when we look to God's example. Despite the harshness of the world we live in, gentleness is actually an asset, not a liability. Gentleness is the foundation of important soft skills that can help us succeed both personally and professionally. Skills such as humility, compassion, respect, and listening. When we're gentle, we welcome God's love to flow through our lives. It may not be popular to be gentle in this harsh world. However, 
it's important for all of us to learn how to be gentle. Thankfully, the Holy Spirit will teach us how to do so. Galatians 5, 22 through 23, NIV, lists gentleness as one of the fruit of the Spirit that we can develop by working with the Holy Spirit to learn and grow. Making that effort will unleash more of God's power into our lives, freeing us from fear, strengthening our faith, and showing others God's love in action. The more we choose gentleness in our words and actions, the more like Jesus we become, and the more other people will notice His love flowing through our lives. Intersecting Faith and Life As you reflect on being gentle in our harsh world, consider these questions. In what ways have you been conditioned to believe that gentleness is a sign of weakness? How can you work with the Holy Spirit to change your mind and start seeing gentleness as a sign of strength? What can you learn from Jesus' example of how to embody gentleness as a sign of strength? When have you witnessed someone show gentleness in a challenging situation? How did that impact the people involved? How can you practice gentleness toward yourself? And how can that self-compassion help you be more gentle toward others? When you encounter stressful situations, how can you respond with gentleness rather than react in anger? How can you be more intentional about showing gentleness toward the difficult people in your life? How can you encourage others to embrace gentleness as a sign of strength rather than weakness? How can you model that behavior for those around you? Further reading, 1 Peter 3.15, Galatians 6.1, James 3.17-18, 1 Timothy 6.11, Colossians 4.6. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Is life feeling chaotic? I get it. I'm Rachel Wojo, host of the Untangling Life podcast. Don't miss the passionate encouragement and faith-based resources you need to help you clear your head and calm your heart. As Shell says, it feels like Rachel always knows what I need to hear. She keeps it real and is so humble. Her podcast is just the cherry on top. Enjoy Untangling Life with Rachel Wojo on lifeaudio.com or your favorite podcast app now.